In simple terms, cloud computing means storing data and programs over the internet instead of your own computer hardware. Internet act as interface between cloud users and service providers. Users uses the cloud services via internet. Most commonly used software as a services Google Workspace and Zoom, Dropbox, Slack and Bear Matrix and etc. Hello everyone, welcome to MadeEZ YouTube channel. My name is Ravi Kumar. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic, cloud computing. We will keep it simple and easy to understand. So let's get it started. In this small session, we are going to talk about what is cloud computing, cloud computing architecture, types of cloud computing, cloud service model, advantage, disadvantage and future trends. Let us see what is cloud computing. In simple terms, cloud computing means storing data and programs over the internet instead of your own computer hardware. Imagine you have a library of books. Instead of keeping all the books at home, store them in a big library where you can borrow any book whenever you need it. Cloud computing works exactly same way over the data and applications. Imagine you have a powerful computer that can access anywhere in the world through internet. At any time, this powerful computer can store files, run your software and do many other things you might need a computer to do. Now instead of owning this powerful computer, you are renting a space and power from a company that owns many such computers. This is basically what cloud computing is. Let us see some features of cloud computing. One is the resource pooling. In cloud computing, resources like storage and processing power can be shared across many users. Imagine like a water tank in, in an apartment building where everyone gets water from the same tank, whatever the amount they want, no one buys their own water tank. Similar way, cloud computing provides the services such a way that many users share the storage space as well as processing power. Availability. Cloud services are available 24 by 7. All we need is the internet connection. On-demand self-service. In cloud computing, whenever we need more storage space or more processing power, okay, we can increase without asking anyone. Easy maintenance. Cloud providers take care about the software updates and bug fixing so that the cloud users need not think about the, all these things. Then large network access. So cloud computing accesses through internet. It is very large across anywhere in the world. And automatic system, cloud services, automatic system updates automatically update the system and automatically update the software. This is takes care by the cloud softwares. Economical. Cloud computing is cost effective because we pay what we use. Security. In cloud computing, your data is stored with the strong security measures. Let's see cloud computing architecture. What are major components in cloud computing? So these are the main components in cloud computing. One is user, internet, service providers. So cloud users who uses cloud services via internet. Internet act as interface between cloud users and service providers. Users uses the cloud services via internet. So cloud service providers who maintain the infrastructure of servers, storage, database, network, security. So there are various cloud service providers. So one is Google Cloud Platform, AWS, Amazon Web Services, and Microsoft Azure. These are the three major cloud service providers. Let us see different types of cloud computing. Various cloud service providers 
provides mainly three different types of cloud computing. One is public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud. Let us see briefly about the public cloud and private cloud and hybrid cloud. So first one is the most common used cloud services, cloud type of services, the public cloud. In public cloud, services are delivered over the internet and shared by multiple users, like the way we use public bus. In public cloud, service provider provides the resources such as virtual machines, applications, storage to the general public via the internet. So here applications and storage are provided by the service providers of the cloud and general public can be used and share their, share their applications via the internet. So these are the main public cloud service providers. One is AWS and other is GPS, Google Cloud and Microsoft Azure and IBM Bluemix. These are some of the public cloud service providers. The second one is the private cloud. So private cloud means services are used by single organization providing more security and more control also. So it's like using own car, using own car. So, so in this private cloud, in this private cloud, cloud computing model where infrastructure dedicatedly to a single organization. So, so that it can provide the more security and it can provide the more so control, control over the uh, cloud service. So this is the meaning of private cloud and various examples of the private cloud. One is IBM Cloud and VMware OpenStack and Microsoft Azure. These are the some of them who provide the private cloud services. Then the third one is the hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud means it's a mix of public and private cloud. Like using a car sometimes and a public bus in other times. Depends on the requirement, depends on the need. Okay, in hybrid cloud, so computing environment, so like a private cloud with public cloud services allowing data and applications to be shared between them. So some portion is like a dedicated to the one organization and some other services are shared by multiple uh, users. Okay, it is combination of the public and private clouds. This is the hybrid cloud and these are the main service providers of the hybrid clouds. One is Microsoft Azure and AWS. These are the different types of cloud computings. Let us see various service models which are provided by cloud computing. So cloud computing service providers are provides three various service models. One is software as a service, SAAS. So service providers provides application software. So we can use, we can consume, we can consume the services which are given by the direct software of the service providers. So the second one is the PAAS, platform as a service. So they, they give the platform and we can build our applications in that platform so that we need not require to worry about the hardware infrastructure as well underlying software infrastructure. Directly they provide the service a platform as a service and we can deploy our applications in that platform. So that means we can build our application. We can build our application in their platform. Okay, then third one is the infrastructure as a service. So here hardware and networking and storage space infrastructure is provided by the service providers and we have to host our application software and the platform in that in that infrastructure okay these are the three different services which are provided by the cloud computing so in brief saas saas is software as software as a service so allows user to consume software application over the internet without managing the underlying infrastructure. So example of software as a service is Google Workspace, Microsoft 365, Salesforce. These are all direct softwares. We can use their software 
so for our service uh, to take the services of the, provided by the software so here need not require to think about background uh, hardware also the platform also and directly we can use the softwares to via the internet this is the software as a service the second the one of them so most uh, most commonly used software as a services google workspace and zoom dropbox slack and bear matrix and etc so many so many softwares are uh, provided as a software is the services then the second one is the platform as a service so here service providers provides the platform that allows to developer to build develop and manage applications we can build our own applications in that platform without worrying about the underlying hardware and software layers okay so example includes google app engine google app engine we can okay provide the means we can build the our applications in the platform and microsoft azure and heroku okay these are the uh, platform as a services so they gives the platform and we can build and develop and manage applications in that platform is the second way of uh, second type of the service providing okay then third one is the infrastructure as a service here not direct software not direct platform is given by the service providers service providers provides the infrastructure so infrastructure as a service here it offers okay so virtualized computing resources over the internet allowing user to host and manage services storage and networking okay so means we can host the services over that infrastructure via the internet so so examples includes amazon web services as well as microsoft azure google cloud platform okay these are the infrastructure as a services in this infrastructure as a services okay so they provide infrastructure we need not require to think about hardware configuration and other things the infrastructure is provided by the service providers we can host our applications and storage and as well as okay so the networking everything so from the user side these are the different type of service providers uh, services of cloud computing so again brief in brief okay infrastructure as a service so infrastructure as a service here here the service providers provides servers and storage and network etc so infrastructure provided by the service providers okay so we can host it you can host it our own uh, software okay then next one is the platform as a service platform as a service means so what is op operating operating system and application stack platform they give so we have to build our applications in that platform of course they are providing platform means in underlining they have infrastructure also infrastructure as well as platform combinedly provided by the service providers and we need to we need to build our own application in that platform so that we need not require to think about the server configuration no need to think about the storage space and no need to think about the network and no need to think about the operating system updates and no need to think about application stack that is all provided by the service providers we just build our application over there that is called platform as a service then third one is the okay software as a service so here infrastructure also provided infrastructure also provided and platform also provided and application also provided okay so packaged softwares so directly we can use the software via the internet so these are the different services provided by the service providers these are some advantages of cloud computing one is scalability cost efficiency accessibility reliability innovation and security so cloud services are always scalable so we can increase or decrease storage space or computational power based on requirement so cloud computing is the ability to increase or decrease size or power of it resources to meet the changing demands 
okay it is always can able to increase or decrease the storage space or increase or decrease computational power okay so it resources based on the need of the services so the second advantage it is cost efficiency so cloud computing can be cost effective for businesses because it eliminates many costs associated with purchasing and maintaining the hardware and softwares so complete infrastructure and hardware and software everything is maintained by the service providers it is very much cost effective for the businesses so next advantage is accessibility cloud services are accessible 24 by 7 so cloud providers offers continuous service availability and ensuring zero downtime okay ensuring that resources and applications accessible all the times and reducing the downtime and improving the productivity so almost zero downtime and 24 by 7 services are available so next next advantage of the cloud computing is reliability of cloud computing so so cloud computing cloud services are very much reliable okay so it means that regular backups are there and the robust recovery mechanisms are there and the quick restoreization instead of in case of some failure is occur we can restore very quickly without much downtime in case some failure is occur so the reliability point of view is okay cloud services are on top the next advantage is the innovation sometimes cloud service providers often provides some advanced technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning and big data analytics and these things are also sometimes provided by the service providers of the cloud computing so it can be more innovation and more effective way can be run the business applications then other advantage is the security cloud providers offers robust security measures lot of encryption techniques and identity management techniques and access controlling so to, uh, the security is on the top notch okay so cloud services provides very good security so these are some basic advantages of the cloud services these are few of the future trends in the cloud computing one is the edge computing and other one is integration of a and machine learning to the cloud services and third one serverless computing and the fourth one increase the security measures okay these are the need of the advancement in the cloud computing one is the basic meaning of edge computing is it is a distributed computing that brings computation and data storage closer to the location where it is needed instead of accessing every time data from the one centralized server so if distributed and data is stored closer to the where it is needed it is become faster response and it utilizes the bandwidth okay improves the response time and server bandwidth saves bandwidth okay so basically in in the cloud computing the data and everything is at the server side so devices access the data and access the computational power everything through the internet so here edge computing so some computations and some data should be stored at the closer to the where device is located so that response time can be increases as well as bandwidth can be reduces okay so we'll back to the one more good video re regarding the edge computing and how it is uh, advancement some of the uh, some of the major applications where cloud computing and edge computing can be used one is fraud detection cloud can, computing can be used over the fraud detection and improved patient outcomes as well as traffic management site as well as crop monitoring site and real time video analysis and chain management these are the different areas where we can go for the cloud computing so that's all for today's video i hope you have a better understanding of what cloud computing is so please like share and subscribe the made easy youtube channel and made easy telegram channel thank you all for watching this video